National Educator. Hello everybody, and my name is Ted Owiti, and welcome to today's lesson, being a Form 2 physics lesson on magnetism. Now, yes, uh, last week we talked about the magnetic field patterns uh, due to the Earth. We also talked about the domain theory. We also talked about magnetization by induction and magnetization by stroking. Remember, magnetization by stroking, we talked about the single stroke method and we also talked about the double stroke method. Now, this week or today, we will continue with the process of magnetization and we will talk about magnetization by hammering. We will also talk about magnetization using the electrical method and we'll further see how magnets can be destroyed. Magnets can be destroyed using the hammering or heating method. And demagnetization can also occur by the electrical method. We are also going to go further and talk about hard and soft magnetic materials. And we're also going to, to discuss how to store magnets and discuss some of the applications of magnets. So let's proceed to magnetization. Uh, we have, today we are going to talk about magnetization by hammering. And we are also going to talk about magnetization using the electrical method. So we'll start with magnetization by hammering. Now, this method makes use of the Earth's magnetic field. The steel bar to be magnetized is placed inclined to the horizontal in the north-south direction. So we only need a steel bar. As you can see, we have a steel bar and we have a hammer. And the steel bar is inclined at an angle of deep theta. So if we hammer, the process involves hammering the steel bar several times and each time the dipoles are aligned towards the north-south direction. And as you can see now, our, our magnet has been magnetized. It, I, I mean our steel bar has been magnetized. Now, what is the angle of dip? The angle of dip is the angle at which the steel bar is held to the horizontal. All right? And it depends on where you are on the Earth's magnetic field. Now, if you are at the poles, you'll see that, um, you'll see that, supposing you are at the South Pole, all right, then, um, you will have to hold the, the steel bar at vertically at 90 degrees to the horizontal as you do what? As you hammer, all right? Well, however, if you are at the equator, you can see where we have our pink, uh, our purple arrow, and you, the, the magnet, the steel bar is held horizontal as it is hammered, all right? The, this is to enable the dipoles to align themselves with the Earth's magnetic field lines. And, of course, if you are at the North Pole, you'll have to heat it also at uh, vertically, where the steel bar is making 90 degrees with the horizontal. So magnetization by hammering produces very weak magnets. We have better ways of making magnets. 
and one of them is the electrical method. Now, this is the quickest and the best way of making magnets. It, use, it utilizes the magnetic effect of an electric current.